Delia, a beagle, Iggy, an Italian greyhound, and Samson, a boxer. It's just us. I'm a single mother. Stella and I always say, we don't need a man. We are girls. We can handle anything. Ever since adulthood, Debbie's been handling life with Crohn's disease, an energy-sapping illness. I had a lot of surgeries and missing some organs, and I find that I am extremely tired. Debbie and Stella had two well-behaved dogs until they stumbled across a beautiful but injured boxer at an adoption fair. Samson really needed rescuing. He was in terrible shape, and the reason I actually brought him home, I remember saying to Stella, look, I can walk him with my pinky. But when he came home, everything went crazy. Samson is just plain impossible. He jumps our fence, he attacks people who come to the house, and he's just inappropriate. Oh, nice. He fights for dominance with Iggy, so now Iggy goes crazy if anybody comes into his home. Delia! Guess what? It's time for another meal. Delia started eating to, I guess, deal with her issues. She's big. She's a big girl. And she just gets bigger. Samson also physically attacks Debbie's fragile body. Covered with bruises and scratches. He's knocked me down the stairs. He's knocked me off the deck. He's a danger to me. I know that. And I might need to rehome him. Oh, living at my house is, it really is like a zoo. Hush! Hush! But Samson is my friend, Samson is my pet, and Samson is one of is my sibling because I'm an only child. I really couldn't imagine living my life without him. Stella is so attached to Samson. I don't want to hurt her. But Stella has not had a play date here in a year. Nobody comes over. One of the few exceptions is Debbie's father, Cal. Is that stupid dog still here? Yes. Hi, Dad. Wait, wait. Hi. Stella, let's take him downstairs. Come on. This guy, Samson, bothers me. I can't sit, I can't stand, and he doesn't want to be kicked out because he wants to be part of the company. Oh! When Cal comes over, Debbie and Stella go through the excruciating ritual of trying to remove the dogs from the room. Samson! Samson, come here. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna run. No, run, 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 run. I'm afraid that Samson is going to hurt her, and I think he should be given away. I don't know what to say, but I know one thing. He cannot stay here, or I don't come. Can we not talk about that? All you talk about is giving away the dog. And I love him so much that we're not going to give him away. But this... don't say that we might. You really wouldn't come here anymore? Nothing's being done about that dog. Give him it away or have him straightened. Something has to be done. If Victoria tells me to rehome Samson, that is the only way I will put Stella and myself through a loss like that. Let me 